Okay, Ash, Ash, can you hear me? I got no response. Let's get the cardiac monitor. All right, uh, I'm gonna have to give some epinephrine and some atropine. Uh, keep doing CPR. We're doing everything we can. It's just not looking good right now. Help me, I'm really scared. Yeah, I can I can help you, Ash, but there's no reason to be scared. How do you know my name? Let's just say let's just say I know your dad really well. Really? How? I'll tell you later. Hey, you wanna go for a little walk? I had to find my mommy and daddy. Do you know where they would be? I really miss them, and I can hear them crying. But I don't know why or where they would be. It'll be okay. Why don't you go for a walk with me? We can talk, get to know each other a little bit better. I can show you around. You have to take a look around sometimes. The Lord has created so much for us. What? What is it, Ash? I've never seen a shirt like that before. It's so bright and colorful. It is, isn't it? Your dad, he always joked that I'd always wear these shirts. I, I can't say he was wrong. I like it. Wait, you never said how you knew my daddy. Well, I was just on my way to do a little fishing over there. And why don't you come with me? We can talk about it on the way over there, okay? Well, if it'll help me find my mommy and daddy. Right, come on. Let's just say I was there for him when he was growing up. I wish I could be there for him now. I'm sure he'd need me. Need you? For what? Well, Ash, the last time I saw you, you were you were really sick and you met me before? When? Oh, well, I only met you for a minute or two. Your mommy and daddy, they were so proud of you. They wanted to show you off. I would have loved to get right up there and take you fishing, but I was pretty sick, and so were you, and... I don't know how to fish. I can show you how to fish. I'm able to do a lot more now than I could when I first met you. You know, your dad never really liked to fish. He didn't have the patience for it. There's a lot I tried to show him that he didn't have the patience for. He made mistakes, but you know, so did I, dealing with him. But overall, I think your dad turned out okay. 
So how about it? You want to grab a pole? I really need to find my mom and daddy and see if I can cry. I don't like to hear them cry. I never really like to hear them cry either. I can show you how to fish later on. I know we're going to have plenty of time. You might want to head for that mountain right over there. You see it? Is that where they are? It looks like the sun's right on top of it. It does, doesn't it? Just head that way through the meadow and the mountain is just past the forest. Now, Ash, the forest can seem a little scary, but no matter what, know that you'll be just peachy. And I know you'll find what you need. Just remember that. I'll see you later, buddy. Okay, bye. find my mommy and daddy. Something's wrong. I can hear them crying, but I can't find them. A man I met told me to go to the mountains. I think that's where they are. He knew my daddy, so he has to be right, right? The mountains is a long way off, and you have pretty far to go. Why don't you come up here and eat? A nice lady dropped off some cookies for you, and I made chili. What's chili? You don't know what chili is? Oh, I suppose you wouldn't know. You haven't had time. Why don't you have a seat? Huh? Oh, nothing. Your daddy liked my chili. You knew my daddy? Yes, I know your mommy and daddy, your brothers and sisters, everybody. I didn't have time to meet you until today, but I'm glad I did. Then how do you know my name? I was told I'd be meeting you soon, so I thought I'd make some food and sit here and wait for you to drop by. I used to cook for your daddy when I knew he was coming over. I like sitting and talking with him. You should stay and talk to me for a bit. You might need to know a thing or two about what's happening with you. I think the chili's ready. I can grab you a bowl and we can sit and talk about it. How's that? I, I have to go. I have to find my mommy and daddy. I can hear them crying. Well, okay. I'll keep the chili warm. Bye-bye. Just like her daddy, always on the go.
Well done, Ash. Hmm? Who are you? Do you know where my mommy and daddy are? I heard them crying, and I'm scared that something is wrong. They are not here. Where are they? I'm scared. There is no need to be scared ever again. Your mommy and daddy are just sad, but I will look after them. Why are they sad? They miss you a lot already. Miss me? See, I have to find them. Ash, do you remember anything before you woke up here? I don't remember. I want to... But I... I... I can't see it. You were hurting. Your heart and body were very sick. You had done all I asked of you, and your body took all the hurt it could, so I brought you to your new home. Now you won't be sick or hurt ever again. I've given you a new life. The sickness and pain are so far away now, you hadn't even noticed how good you feel. I've given you a new, perfected body. Wait, I remember now. My heart, it hurt all the time. But I do feel better now. Wait, were my mommy and daddy crying for me? I, I don't want them to be hurt anymore. Can they come see me? I've come so far, and I have so much further to go, right? Ash, you must understand. Human life is only temporary. Every person I create isn't made only to live life on Earth. They're made to spend eternity with me here in Heaven. Sometimes people get distracted and lose track of that, and they miss out on the paradise I've created for them. But those who keep their hope in me will never die. They will live with me forever, just like some of your family members did. That's why you saw them. They kept their faith in me, and fulfilled the job I had for them on Earth, just as you had. Although your life was not long, you accomplished your work. Ash, life itself is only the journey. This is the destination. You are home. Your mommy and daddy can't come with you now, but I will make sure they will be okay. They will miss you very much, but I have things for them to achieve. They're still on their journey, but I know one day you will see them again. I have much to show you, and many people want to meet you. Come. It's okay. I'll see them again someday. Days and days, years and years, they have gone by Only hoping that I can be with you again Just one more touch, just one more hug, one more look in the eye, one more anything a moving picture is now just still shots Your eyes used to wander and they always held their peace Oh how I miss you, I just want to see you I would give anything to see that smile on your face once more Oh how I miss you you were my world even in the short time that we had Oh how I miss you I hope you heard my last words They were the truth as I spoke to you I hope you like this better place This heaven which holds you so safe May God keep you happy 
in the eternity you have been given. Just promise you will wait for my time so I can see you forever again. Oh, how I miss you. I just want to see you. I would give anything to see that smile on your face once more. Oh, how I miss you. You were my world even in the short time that we had Oh how I miss you, I just want to see you I would give anything to see that smile on your face once more Oh how I miss you, you were my world even in the short time